Let's go down the slide! It's static electricity. Static electricity makes your hair stand up. What is static electricity? Static electricity is a weak electric current generated when objects rub against each other. For example, sometimes combing your hair can create static electricity. Does combing the hair create static electricity? I have an idea. Try using the small plastic comb! Not enough! I need more static electricity! <laughs> A big wooden comb! Huh? Why is there no static electricity? <laughs> Quacky, not all materials can create static electricity. So what can we use to make static electricity? Let's go to the laboratory together and try it out. Practice your hands and brain. Let's create together. To, to the, the laboratory. laboratory. Let's, Let's go. go. We have prepared these items. A metal sp a wooden stick. A balloon. A plastic ruler. Let's give it a try. Rub the items against Quacky's hair and see what can create static electricity. Plastic ruler can easily create static electricity. The wooden stick does not easily create static electricity. The metal spoon does not easily create static electricity. The balloon can easily create static electricity. I got it! It is not easy to generate static electricity when rubbing wood stick and metal spoon against the hair. It is easy to generate static electricity when rubbing the plastic ruler and balloon against the hair! You're right! Hey! Huh? Wow! Kiki, look! I have two big ears! That's the power of static electricity! Besides the balloons, static electricity can also attract other things! Let's do the experiment together. Yeah! We need these items. A towel. A small foam. A coin. A plastic ruler. Metal clips. Small pieces of paper. Let's try it together. Rub the ruler against the towel to create static. Move the plastic ruler close. Static electricity can't attract the coins. The small pieces of paper were... The small foam balls were attracted by the static electricity. Static electricity. 
electricity can't attract the metal clips. Static electricity can't attract the metal clips. The pieces of paper and small foam balls were both attracted by static electricity. That's right. Static electricity can attract small items that are not charged. That's so interesting. Ah. I just got shocked. It hurts. <laughs> Naughty static electricity. What? Static electricity is really mischievous. I like the lion hairstyle. But I don't like the static electricity when it hurts me. Kids, what do you think? Two, one. Quacky, I'm coming to get you. Where's Quacky? Look around. Is Quacky here? Aw, you're showing your big head. Aw, you're showing your tail. Aw, you're showing your big head. Where is Quacky hiding again? So... I am the super slingshotter, Quacky. Do you want to play with the slingshot together? Slingshot is broken. I can take a piece of twine and fix it. I am a super tinkerer. I can fix everything. The twine slingshot is fixed. Let's try again. Shot is broken. I can't shoot far. Let me see. This is because you used the wrong rope. Wrong rope? So what kind of rope should I use? Let's go to the magical laboratory and explore together. Practice your hands and brain. Let's create together. To, to the, the laboratory. laboratory. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's use different ropes to make slingshots. And see which slingshot can shoot the farthest. Ribbon slingshot. Rubber band slingshot. Twine slingshot. Pull it and see how far you can shoot a small paper ball. Ribbon slingshot. Rubber band slingshot. Twine slingshot. Did you figure it out? Which slingshot shoots the farthest? You got it! A rubber band slingshot can shoot very far. The slingshot made of rubber band can shoot a small ball of paper farther. It's because of the elasticity. When you apply force, the rubber band stretches. When you let go, it will shorten. So this is elasticity. That's right. There are a lot of things that have elasticity besides rubber bands. What other things have elasticity? Let's check it out. I want to know if these things have elasticity. Spring. Balloon. Sponge. Iron ball. Twine. Rubber bands. Play-Doh. Block. Let's do an experiment. 
press and see who is more elastic. Play-Doh is less elastic. A sponge is more elastic. Press it. A block is less elastic. A spring is more elastic. Press it. A rubber balloon is very elastic. An iron ball has poor elasticity. Pull it. The twine has poor elasticity. The rubber band has high elasticity. The experiment is complete. Quacky, what did you find out? Rubber bands, spring, sponge, balloon. These things are very elastic. There are many items in life that are made of elastic materials. Let's take a look. What have you found that is elastic? A spring horse is so springy! Use waistband to tighten pants. Hey! Bouncing on a spring bed. Stretch socks can be stretched easily. Kiki! And this! The rubber band slingshot can shoot the small paper ball very far. Kids, there are still many elastic things in our life. You can find out with your mom and dad.